Last Friday marked the one-year anniversary of the Muslim riots in France. And aside from a horrific act of violence in which a group of nondescript youths set fire to a commuter bus with people in it, seemed, uh, seeing, uh, things seemed to be a little quieter than most people expected. But why? Well, started doing some research over the weekend, found an amazing survey. Since last year's riots, more French citizens, now 58%, believe that Muslims immigrating into the country is a good thing. That's up five points from the last time the survey was taken before the riots. That didn't seem to make sense to me at all until you hear the real story. The same survey also interviewed French Muslims and found that 46% of them consider themselves to be Muslim first and French second. The real story is that even though things may appear to be calm on the surface, tensions between Muslims and non-Muslims are slowly reaching a breaking point. Unfortunately, I'm not just talking about France. A recent survey of American Muslims, and I have to stress, unscientific poll, found that 73% of American Muslims say they are Muslim first and American second. Remember, in France it was 46%. Well, that's not really a big deal, Glenn. I'm Catholic and I identify with that. Well, right, okay. Do you think that the government, the U.S. government, is at war with Catholics? No. 68% of American Muslims believe that our government is at war with Islam. I've got more. 65% of American Muslims think the U.S. government had advanced knowledge of the 9-11 attacks. Hello, Mr. Lutheran, do you believe that? 35% say the government actually organized the attacks. Hello, Mr. Presbyterian. 74% believe their mo local mosque is being monitored by the government. How about your synagogue? 67% believe their phone calls are being listened to, and 32% believe their home is bugged. You combine that all together, and you just might start to understand why 13% of American Muslims say they will not call the police if they learn about a plot by fellow Muslims to attack the U.S. Another 11% can't decide if they would call or not. That means a full quarter of American Muslims cannot be relied on to disrupt a terrorist plot. If you think that's what's happened in France and England and that is just Europe's problem, you're kidding yourself. American Muslims feel even more isolated and more angry than those in Europe. The only question is whether we'll have the same kinds of violence and riots here or if what we will experience will be much, much worse.